Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Alexis for the ones that are new. And I'm a mom with two kids. And I'm going crazy. <laughs> no. Um, we are headed to my son's WIC appointment. If you don't know what WIC is, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a thing that like helps you out. I don't know. Anybody can have it. Like if you have like, a, like only one of us works. My husband's the only one that's making money having an income. So we are able to have this glorious thing called WIC. It can be a glorious thing and it can be a horrible thing because you have crazy things that you have to go to all the time like checkups and blah blah and they ask you all these crazy questions but we're headed there now i decided kind of late in the day it's already almost three that uh i was going to do a day in the life so as you see me load up my crazy children we're headed over to the wick appointment and then I guess you'll just be with me for the rest of the day. I'm going to make dinner, I'm going to do laundry, and I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom because that's what I am. So if that's the kind of video that you're interested in, then please keep watching. This was a very long rambly intro, so let's get into it. <laughs> business so it's really nice to oh my god that thing about me is like jingling jingling it's really nice to have wick because most importantly when they were a littler like for formula when i stopped breastfeeding it was great but now that they're drinking whole milk and they're lactose free they don't drink cow's milk i mean they drink cow's milk but they drink like lactose milk um, my daughter, I've kind of transferred her over to this thing called pea milk. I don't know, it's a new thing for us, but she's on that. So WIC doesn't cover that. I'm actually going to talk to them about that today. But my son is on whole lactose free milk and for a half gallon, it's $3.99. So it's very nice, very nice to be able to have them help with it because they like give me i want to say probably like hmm, maybe four half gallons a month maybe more i can't really i'm not i don't really remember so it's really helpful but i am worried that they are going to switch me over to two percent and sometimes when my son would run out of the whole milk i would give him the two percent like my daughter's and he would have diarrhea and like not really a good like reaction to the milk so i am going to tell them about that but i'm at the office now so i will chat with you guys either while i'm in there or right after pick your nose we're not going yet
I'm sure some of my other military fams, wives, moms can relate to not wanting to go to the commissary. Like I literally dread going to the commissary. Like I just, I just don't want to do it. I, I just want to go to Publix. I mean, I can go to Publix and use my WIC checks, but commissary we live right next to it there's really no excuse except for the people are very rude entitled i don't know why why they're entitled like they should be nice and they people that help you bring your stuff out if you allow them always expect a tip so i really like the wick office is right next to the commissary and i literally was like in the same building like i could have just walked and just got the milk and like had this been over with but it's just like that's how much i hate the commissary and that's how much i don't want to go to the commissary and i dread it because i just the people are rude i'd rather go to Publix. they're just so much more helpful and nice and just friendly and this footage is probably all shaky because i'm driving but i think i'm just gonna wait till my husband gets off so that way we can go to Publix together because I don't want him to get off and then maybe at Publix which is like 12 13 minutes away and and have to come back and rush back and make sure I pick him up and all that stuff so I'm just gonna wait till he gets off work and then I'm going to head to Publix but in the meantime get a snack for myself get a snack for the munchkins and fold some damn laundry okay oh crrr. ew <laughs> I've always wanted to do that oh crrr. can you do that Good try, my little ones. Good try. This one? This one. I don't know if I told you guys about this, but my daughter is on pea milk. <laughs> Sounds very disgusting. But Wick does not cover it, and it is expensive. For two of them at Publix, which is more expensive, it's $9. So this is the milk that she's on. It's a non-dairy, let's see, non-dairy plant-based protein, 10 grams pea protein chocolate she likes the chocolate it's dairy lactose nut um carcinogen carcinogen i'm butchering that and gluten free so that is pretty awesome it has 160 calories in the serving which is serving size is eight fluid ounces so yeah, that's what she's currently on. My son is on just a regular lactose milk, but he will be switched over to the, I guess not 2%, I think it's 1% milk next month. And hopefully he does okay with it. If not, like I said, he might have to be switched over to the pea milk also. <sighs> Starving. So definitely gonna make an egg salad sandwich. I boiled these eggs before we left. My husband is probably getting off late tonight from what he said and for the rest of the week, so fantastic. Oh my gosh, I definitely overboiled these eggs. Mom, thought we could chat while I make my sandwich. My house is going to smell like someone took a big 
you know what? Because eggs stink. And something crazy, I hit 300 subscribers. I can't even believe it. 300 people subscribe to me. Like that blows my mind that there's 300 people out there that actually like care about what I'm doing with my life. Whatever I'm doing, I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. So that is really awesome. A crazy milestone that I didn't think that I would reach for a long time. I started my channel probably about three months ago. So a hundred so so blah, 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 blah. a hundred subscribers per month almost, maybe four months ago. So like 50 subscribers per month. That's really good and I'm very proud of my channel and myself for being consistent. But I do plan on being ow. These eggs are cutting my fingers off. Um, a little bit more consistent. I just don't know what to do. Like, I just want you need feedback. I need you guys to talk to me and tell me what kind of videos you'd be interested in. Because I know you guys love the clean, the cleaning videos, but I can only clean so much. I mean, no, that that's a lie. I can clean every day, but doesn't mean it's going to be entertaining and it would get boring and repetitive after a while. So I need you guys to put in the comments down below what you wanna see from me in 2019. Do you wanna see, I don't know, nighttime routines, DIYs, um, skincare videos, um, hauls, not that I'm buying anything currently, but like when summer comes, I'm probably gonna get bathing suits or clothes or whatever, so hauls um when we do travel which probably not often for a while uh, do you want to see travel kind of vlogs do you want to see what i eat in a day what they eat in a day what we as a family eat in a day um do you want to see um do you want to see like weekend vlogs with my husband do you want to know more details about like military life yeah. yes baby so those are just a bunch of ideas so if any of those sound good to you just put in the comments i don't have a lot of people that comment on my videos and i really need more feedback to know what the viewer you out there want to see from me so please leave it down in the comments don't forget all you have to do to get to the comments some people don't know is my videos here if you're on a phone you scroll all the way to the bottom past like all these other videos and then it's going to say comments at the bottom and then that's where you can comment and say what kind of videos you want to see from Always Forever Greens. Me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make myself a sandwich and relax because my head is about to explode. And University of Motherhood. Yes, representing, representing. I went to University of Motherhood. Just kidding, I didn't go to any university. University of Motherhood is the only only university I've ever attended. The shirt's from, what is it called? They called um, Mom Culture. And I kind I found them through, I don't know if you guys have seen me. I'm sure you've seen many of your influencer mom, girl, people, vloggers, YouTubers. Pause, one second. Mama Bear shirts. And I have a few and I love them. Uh, the company is called Love by Hannah and Eli. The girl that owns the shop, her name is Sarah. That's the mama bear shop. And I love their shirts and like everything. And, but this, she featured the mom culture, which is this shirt, where this shirt came from, um, on her Instagram or talked about it or something. And I went on their website and found this shirt. And like many of us moms and not many of us moms, even if you did go to a real university, which I did not go to a real university, I went to a state school. Well, I went to esthetician school, so not, I mean, it was college, but not like real college. And you didn't go to a university, or even if you did, once you become a mom, and especially once you become a mom of two or more, you have gone to the motherhood 
university because motherhood is the hardest hood toughest hood there is out there so when i saw the shirt i was like yes motherhood university is the university that i belong to i will pledge for motherhood university because you know all those moms out there we need to have each other's backs because that hood gets rough okay i'm going to get and start with the sweet potatoes and then i'll cook the chicken and then maybe some vegetables i'm not even that hungry but i'll probably eat a sweet potato so i'm gonna cook that so let's go start cooking and probably make some dinner for the kids these are gigantic Comparison. Almost as size my head. Get a cutting board. I suck at peeling. Like I'm horrendous, so this should be pretty entertaining. Watch me peel some potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these first. <laughs> I'm horrible. What the hell? You're supposed to go up or supposed to go down. Oh, Tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Chicken in. 
You look naked. Huh? You look naked. Am I? You go I mean, maybe I am naked. You're not. <laughs> these dishes real quick. And I'll show you when dinner's done. I gotta make these kiddos something to eat. You guys hungry? Thank you for helping me. Thank you so much. Victoria's screaming her head off because my husband just left, but this is what Jack's gonna eat. Come here, Jax! Because he wants to go get milk for Jax. Jaxie, come on, I got you some food, babe. I'm making the sweet potato, the broccoli's about done, chicken's cooking. Jaxie boy, come here. What? I got you some food, some dinner. Your dinner's ready. Some salt on this. There you go. I'm feeling it here in my cabinet. I'm feeling extra housewifey tonight. So I think I'm going to make some banana bread. Okay, like I said, being a little extra, I'm gonna be a little extra tonight and be ultimate housewife. And this one, this one. We're gonna need, sorry that my head is cut off. I just wanted you to be able to see the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna be making banana bread and I'm gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour. A teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon, one fourth, not a half. One fourth of salt. Then whisk that together. And then in a separate bowl, I'm gonna do half cup of butter. About a cup of butter, or I mean a cup of uh, brown sugar. To add two eggs. Two. Just gonna add a splash, cause why not? Splash of that. It doesn't say to, but I did. Ooh, you know what? I didn't even mean to do that. I'm gonna put parchment paper in here because I did that last time and it came out oh, so good. This is the flour combo with the, um, with the baking soda and salt. Whisk that together. My bananas. Gotta do a lot of dishes tonight. Being a housewife, being the ultimate housewife is not easy. Just kidding. I never do stuff like I'll, I never do this. Like my husband usually cooks, and like I make banana bread all the time, but like I never like make dinner and banana bread and all this stuff. So this is a treat. I think I'm being the ultimate housewife right now, if I do say so myself. Okay, it's gonna be good. I had these overripe bananas, very overripe. Ooh, you broke your track. Okay, I'll fix it in a minute. Just taking out the little ends that are stuck in there. Okay, that should be good. I have this one, but this one looks like extra, and I don't wanna put that one in. Okay, nice. Here's my bananas. Here's my wet mixture, here's my powder. I don't know what it would be called, my dry mixture. I'm gonna smash some bananas. And if you're using overripe bananas, they're really easy to smash because they're ready. Oh,
Top and it kind of tastes a little like soury, like the top of the. Ch I don't know. It might have been the garlic that I had a taste of, but. Mm. Is the chicken weird? No. It's good. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Well, he likes the meal that I just thought of and threw together. Tore off of him. I'm gonna put the banana bread in the oven for what was it 50 minutes last time yeah you think i should put on that rack or the top rack no, 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 no. huh the bottom yeah. <laughs> very smoky but that's from the parchment paper little boy over here just chilling boy it's gonna look good <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed this video it was a little later in the day when i started it but it was like kind of a day in the life and like an evening in the life kind of i made dinner banana bread we did the dishes went to an appointment for my son so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new all right bye